this uh, insane and incredible war was started by the aggressor, which is the Kremlin command on February 24th this year, and it's still ongoing. And it's clear that Ukraine is the immediate victim of this aggression, and Ukraine is bravely defending its freedom, its integrity. And this is uh, something that deserves uh, maximum respect. But Ukraine is not only defending itself. Ukraine is defending the values of Europe, the values of all the free world, democracy, rule of law, human dignity, individual freedom. These are the values which are so important for this generation and for generations to come. And this is why we are all in this together. The aggression does not only mean Ukraine, this is clear, the aggression means all the free world. And the free world is, uh, uh, let's say, really uh, requested to uh, stand together to support each other. That means to support Ukraine in its military defense, to support Ukraine also in other manners, but also to stand together in all the other parts of the free world, because actually not only the citizens of the countries which belong to the free world of today deserve freedom uh, and uh, life in uh, dignity and proper dwelling and uh, peace and opportunities in life for all generations, but each and every person, each and every human on this planet uh, deserve uh, exactly this. And this is why this uh, standing together, this uh, mutual support uh, is so important. And this is why uh, parliamentarily in the European Parliament and on all political levels, nearly all political parties uh, and many, many parts of society uh, are in this together when it comes to support Ukraine, because to support Ukraine means to support the victim against this aggression, but also means to uh, contribute to our own future in all parts of the free world and to the future of the planet in its entirety. Uh, besides the military support for Ukraine, uh, we have the sanctions against the Kremlin in place and the sanctions are the very first unbloody defense uh, against a bloody war attack in history. It's more or less the state of our civilization has achieved that we are defending the victim, that we are defending our own security, uh, that we are defending the citizens via sanctions against this bloody war attack. And uh, this is why the sanctions are important. They are important to have them in proper place. And of course, they have to be strengthened as long as it is, ne as it is necessary in order to weaken the Kremlin regime, uh, which is aggressive against others, violent and brutal against others, uh, and to support uh, the values and the opportunities uh, of uh, Europe and all the free world.